I'm going to be going over how to make money online without any investment without you spending a dime, just pure money in your pocket. And I'm going to be showing you on my computer three different ways that you can make money doing basic tasks, doing transcription, and selling any skills if you have them. So here's how to make extra money online without paying anything. Okay, so you want to make more, more money, no investment. Sorry, and I, I don't know if we're going to edit this in, but they just asked if I misspelled more on purpose. And uh, most of my audience on YouTube is under the age of 30, and he's, uh, oh, they're not going to, you're not going to show him. Uh, he's old, so he doesn't, he doesn't get it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make more money without any investment. Okay, real quick. Now in this video, we're going to go over three ways that you can make money without spending anything. There's a lot of different businesses which want you to spend money on training or spend money on products or spend money on services or all this different stuff, right? We're all selling stuff online. I'm selling stuff online, but this is going to be completely value driven. Let's go over to my computer and I'm going to show you these three ways. So the first way I'm going to show you is with Amazon. These are called basic, these are basic tasks that you can do. I'm going to show you how to do basic tasks and have Amazon pay you money for them. I'm also going to show you a second way of how you can make money. If you know another language, you can make a little more money by transcribing, you know, something from Spanish to English or French to Spanish or whatever. And then I'm going to show you a third method of how you can make money actually providing services for other people. If, if you have a skill, you can make even more money um, selling that, that skill online. So we're going to go over three ways that you can make money without any investment today. So the first one is we're going to go over how you can make money doing basic tasks such as surveys, photo and video identification. The second way I'm going to show you how to make money online is transcription. Now, if you know a second language, again, not all of us know a second language. I, uh, I speak a little Japanese, Nihongo Honnashimasu but I don't speak barely any. But if you know how to translate stuff or if you're willing to watch videos and subtitle them, you can make money doing transcriptions. You can make a little more money than basic tasks usually. And the third way of making money is selling your skills. Now, if you have skills that you can use that you can use uh, on the internet or whatnot, I'm going to show you how you can sell your skills. People will pay you money for your skills. So let's get online. Let's get on the computer and I'm going to show you these three ways of being able to make money online without any investment. So if you go on Google and if you search Amazon Mechanical Turk, right? That's a super weird name. I do not get it. But if we look at Amazon Mechanical Turk, it's a crowdsourcing marketplace. So if you want to take, if you want to make money doing basic tasks, surveys or whatnot, you can go there and there are all sorts of jobs for you to get started with making money online. Look at how many jobs. I just signed up for this just a couple minutes ago and I can already, see that? See that button? Accept and work. All of these jobs I can start, accept and start working immediately. Kitchen appliance classification. If I want to classify different kitchen appliances, I can do this. If I can say market research survey, I can do all of these things and I can make some money doing, that's very easy. The second way I can make money online is doing transcriptions. So what I looked up is I'm, I'm just on a translation website here. I actually use this site. Of side note, I've spent over $50,000 with this website paying people to translate stuff for me. But this site is called rev.com and I'll include links in the description so you can sign up. But if we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see it says freelancers right here. Okay, so now if we click on freelancers, you can join their team of freelancers and you can earn money working from home, translating stuff, work on your own schedule, all that stuff. You just need to translate. So see, you can do, they have all these, all these different translation stuff right here. Great way to earn some money. Now you're getting paid about 
<clears throat> anywhere from 36 cents for to three minute dollars per minute of translated stuff. So if you know a foreign language, this is a great opportunity to make some extra cash. So the third way of making money online, which will make you a little bit more, is selling your skills if you have a particular skill, such as accounting or web design or web development. And the best site I would recommend for that is Upwork.com. So I use Upwork.com also um, just as a company owner. I find a lot of people to do basic tasks for me from legal contracts to accounting to bookkeeping to marketing to design to web development, to all these different sorts of areas. And you see it says, get it done with a freelancer. What this is called is it's called freelancer. Now, if you log in, and I, I started my business as a freelancer. I was, uh, I, you know, now I'm an affiliate marketer and I'm selling my own products. But when I got started, I was, I was managing um, people's advert online ad accounts for anywhere from $250 to $1,000 per month. That's what each of my clients paid me. And I found them on Upwork. Now, you don't get the best price for your money as opposed to if you like meet with somebody in person or you know you have like connections, but you get money from it. And it's a very easy way to start working on your own. Um, and it'll pay a lot more than you know if you're doing basic tasks on Amazon. You can only earn probably about seven to ten dollars an hour if you're doing surveys on Amazon. So let's look at this. Let's say you are an accountant and I type in accounting and here we go. We have a ton of jobs for accounting right on here. Let's look at a few. If I, I typed in accounting and there's 1,738 jobs listed for people looking for somebody to help them with accounting. Let's look up another job category. Sales. I just typed in sales. We have 2,109 jobs for sales. And let's look up, uh, you know, let's let's look up AdWords, which is what I used to do, Google AdWords. There's 417 jobs for people looking for contract freelancers to help them with their Google AdWords. And what I used to do as a uh, freelancer is I would apply to, you know, I would I would apply every day. I'd keep myself to a quota, 25 jobs. Just apply to 25 jobs a day. I'd hope to get a few clients from that. That's that's how I did. Uh, that's that's how I started my agency, and that's how I started my first business. From Upwork, I was able to earn over ten thousand dollars per month just as a freelancer. Those are three ways that you can get started. And make sure you guys like this video if you learned something here. Subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of our daily content, and comment if one of these. Make sure in your comment you put which helped you out the most. Was it the basic tasks on Amazon? Was it the transcription on Rev or was it uh, the freelancing on Upwork? What helped you out the most? And if you're looking to set up your own online business and get out of the basic tasks and earn hundreds of thousands or millions a year, um, I have a free video training. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for that to learn how it is I make money online today. Come, 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 come.